morning, everybody. I sure do hope all of our viewers are staying safe and careful out there this morning because boy, do we have some crazy breaking news for you today. It seems that just recently, there have been dozens of reports of strange looking creatures running loose all over the world. This may be hard to believe, but it seems that um, dinosaurs, yeah, you heard me right on that one. Dinosaurs seem to be running loose all over the world. I know that's very hard to believe, but believe it or not, it does appear to be the case near and far as we come to you live this morning. Police, fire, and rescue are overwhelmed, and they encourage everyone to stay indoors, conserve supplies, and please stay off the phone lines unless you're in a life-threatening emergency, as phone lines are jammed. Highways and even back roads have been shut down as authorities have been dispatched to deal with these creatures. And all the dinosaurs, whether they are herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores, are all considered to be extremely dangerous, and we want to emphasize, do not approach them under any circumstances. This is just crazy. Like, we are just now starting to make sense of just what exactly is going on here, but there are hundreds, if not thousands, of these de-extinct creatures running loose just everywhere, and people are terrified and scared out of their wits right now. And I can't say that I blame them one bit. And yes, if you haven't already figured out, people all across all forms of social media have been posting and sharing their sightings and encounters with the rest of the world. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, you name it, they posted it out there. And some of these sightings have been shared with us right here on Breaking News HD. So therefore, we do have quite a few of these sightings to share with you. Please be advised that some viewers may find them disturbing. This one took place at a national park in Nashville, Tennessee, when rock musician Chris Daughtry had a close encounter with a pteranodon nesting in the area. Hey, what's up everybody out here in Nashville, Tennessee at Bicentennial Park. Beautiful sunny day. And... <laughs> Mr. Daughtry himself said in a statement, I appreciate the outpouring of concern, but I'm okay. They didn't get me. Truly amazing to see these animals up close. He sure is lucky to live and rock and roll another day. And if that prehistoric sighting didn't make your eyes widen, maybe this one of an unlucky driver in Diablo, Washington almost having a head-on collision with a stegosaurus crossing the road will. As of now, we are unsure if the driver survived or not, but one thing we can certainly be sure of if he did, that is a experience he will never forget for a long time, if not forever. Okay now, this next one here will almost definitely send a chill or two down your spine. This individual in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada was fortunate enough to have escaped a pair of vicious velociraptors while returning to his car after a local nature preserve. <laughs> My goodness, I am sure glad I wasn't in that man's shoes at that frightening moment. And I am also very glad that he survived to live another day, considering just how fast velociraptors are and what they do to you once they catch you. Now, the velociraptors are definitely vicious animals, but perhaps the most frightening for me personally is none other than the Big T. Yep, you guessed it, the Mighty King, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex for short. And over in Oregon, there have indeed been reports of a T-Rex causing disturbances and chaos. Luckily, she is the only T-Rex that has been documented in this series of dinosaur sightings across the globe. One of the first reports was when some folks in Oregon's Lake of the Woods seen her suddenly pop out from the trees on an Apatosaurus. terrible lizard wanders back into the woods after realizing that the sauropod is a bit too large for her to tackle. But not too long after that incident, another one about that very same T-Rex specimen was recorded over in Silver Lake. A person investigated some strange sounds coming from a farm silo and got scared out of his wits and ran away in terror when he seen what was coming. It is unclear what happened to the other man. Oh. 
but the one capturing the terrifying footage hid under his truck. tell you what, that just may be one of, if not the most terrifying dinosaur sighting we have received so far. For me personally, of course. What a lucky individual that was to have not been eaten, because the T-Rex is definitely strong enough to have flipped that truck if it wanted to. Like I said earlier, this T-Rex specimen is the only one that has been documented anywhere so far in the area. And the Department of Fish and Wildlife has asked the citizens of Oregon to report to them if they spot her or have an encounter with her. They say she is approximately 44 feet long, 16 to 17 feet tall, 8 tons, and is a faded brown color and has scars on her body, the large ones on the left side of her head and neck being the most noticeable. Of course, they ask you to please advise them of any other dinosaurs you notice or stumble across as well. Again, if you encounter any species of dinosaur, we advise you to please remain quiet, remain motionless, and avoid the urge to run. We have another update on the incident, sir. Okay. Look on your desk. Oh. Okay, so it has just been brought to my attention that this is the result of an unbelievable discovery by scientists that found a way to bring back dinosaurs from extinction. Apparently, fossils of dried tree sap, also known as amber, were found containing a mosquito inside. It is said that the scientists used some special techniques to extract blood from the mosquitoes to get the dinosaur DNA. The discovery was so unimaginable and exciting that in 1993, a theme park on the island of Isla Nublar called Jurassic Park was built and opened to the public to show these de-extinct creatures to the world. Unfortunately, the park miserably failed when the dinosaurs escaped from their enclosures due to technical difficulties and power outages. Just years later, in 2005, another park called Jurassic World opened to the public. But just a decade later, in 2015, after the park's opening, they experienced many of the same issues as Jurassic Park did. Then, in 2018, the dinosaurs left roaming free on the island were endangered when the island's long dormant volcano erupted. Many of the dinosaurs were sadly left to die, but the ones that were rescued were transported to the Lockwood Manor in Northern California, where some of them were being sold at an auction there. And somehow, just like what happened at the theme parks on the island, the dinosaurs escaped out into our world. Some believe that they were deliberately let out on purpose. Whatever the case was, it has certainly given every single one of us a frightening new reality to face. And as we try to find answers to countless questions we have, we must take extreme precautions for their safety as well as for our own. This emergency broadcast has been ordered by the U.S. Department of Civil Defense. An invasion on the United States is underway from an unknown nation or source. Citizens are being strongly encouraged to stay indoors and turn off all sources of light. All government agencies and the military are on highest port. It is recommended that you take shelter in the lower or uppermost portions of your homes and away from any windows. Continue to shelter in place until an all-clear message is given.